Hi everyone, and welcome to part two of a series of videos I'm doing from our Crossing Newfoundland by ATV 2019 trip. I'm going to show you where we went from Dune Lodge to Cornerbrook with a stop at Serpentine Lake. It was a relatively short day at 130 kilometers or 80 miles versus the day we had before. Also, it was kind of the calm before the storm because Hurricane Dorian was breathing down our necks and was going to make landfall the next day. If you watched part one, you know that we traveled all the way from Port of Basque to Black Duck Siding. So today we're going to go from there to Cornerbrook with a stop at Serpentine Lake and a few other stops in between. I'm going to put the link to part one down in the description of the video below. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please consider hitting that button and also the notification icon to get notified every time I upload a video. This section of the trail was in pretty nice shape after we left Dune Lodge. It looked like somebody had graded it not all that long ago. We weren't on the trail very long and we had to stop because Bill wanted to show us a souvenir he picked up along the way. That's a great souvenir though. That's what was in it? Yep. I was telling that story yesterday. Jeez. Jeez. One of the drawbacks of riding the rail bed is that you pick up an old spike now and then. Luckily I've only ever seen one of these stuck in someone's tires in the last 10 years. Did you say it hit the frame? Yeah, a little. You can see oh wow. Oh. It's wood. We just happened to come across this hole and see it here while we were patching the tire and uh, we filled it in with rocks because we certainly didn't want anybody else to come along and find it by hitting it. Our next stop was Serpentine Lake. It's just beautiful in there. Now, if you're going the direction that we are going across Newfoundland, which is west to east, so you can take this trail that I showed here in orange. I haven't taken it for a while and I heard it's really grown in, so unless you're quite adventurous, I would suggest sticking to the rail bed, which is in blue. Then you take this green trail I have marked here all the way into Serpentine Lake. How's that for a view? Third bike. Oh, steep there. I got through okay, but yeah, this is the highest I've ever seen this. We would go see that gravel thing that's right out in the open there behind you. It, no, it's, but, but there's one like that, but way out that way. It's all underwater now. I decided to jump in the Commander and then go drive over to the sandbar over across the way.
TV route. Prior to 2019, there was always a big issue when we got towards Cornerbrook when we were crossing the province. Years ago, a 30 kilometer section of trail was taken up to put a new highway through. So what you used to have to do was when you get to where we are in the video now, you used to have to hire someone to come get you and drive you all the way over to get through that 30 kilometer gap so then you can go on your way. Now the city of Cornerbrook for 2019 allow people to drive ATVs on the city streets. It's fantastic. I have the legal route marked here in red. We did it this year for the first time. What a cool experience being able to drive through town legally. There's gas stations, restaurants, motels, everything you need. No more problem getting through Cornerbrook. You can get from Cornerbrook to Deer Lake by going through some trails up into the mountains towards Cloudy Pond and then back down to Deer Lake. But if you don't want to go that route, you have to get transported. We drove north up into the mountains towards Loman and then back down to Deer Lake as we were making our way east. And then when we came back, we got transported from Deer Lake to Cornerbrook. We saw Tim Hortons on our route, so of course we had to stop and go in for a coffee before we uh, finished our day and made it to the hotel. That's, that's cool, huh? We left Tim Hortons over here, and then we got back on the road, headed east, over towards this part of town. Now, we had to go a few kilometers past that, over towards Marble Mountain, where we spent the night, but we're not going to be doing that anymore because you have to drive a few kilometers on the shoulder of the road. It's not part of the legal road system you're allowed to drive in Cornerbrook now. So from now on, we're going to stay within the town limits here and then head back up north on this green trail. So we finally get to where we were going for the night, which was Marblewood Village. We unpacked our gear. We went in, ordered a pile of pizza. We were watching the news very closely, and we were quite concerned about Hurricane Dorian because we were watching what was going on in Nova Scotia, and it was awful over there. Hurricane Dorian was supposed to travel towards where we were overnight and hit us first thing in the morning, which may have impacted our plans. Our total distance driving for the day was 128 kilometers, which is about 80 miles. It took us about seven and a half hours, including all of our stops. We averaged about 30 kilometers an hour. Stay tuned for part three, where you're going to see us travel from Cornerbrook to Cloudy Pond with stops in Cox's Cove, Goose Arm, and Old Man's Pond. And you'll be able to see how we dealt with that hurricane.